All right, guys, back as promised. I know it's not spring, it's fall, but um, 2008 Chrysler 300C. Um, done a few different things to it. It is no longer on 24s, it is on 22s. These are the Two Crave number 11s. They don't even make them anymore. Um, I've had these on for four years now. Um, as you can see, they're on a 255, 35, 22. Most people with 22s do 265, 35, 22. Um, I did the 255, 35, 22 because it is now on Air Ride. So it tucks in the fenders without hitting. Nothing hits, nothing rubs, I'll show you. Um, so the bolt up front did not have to be shaved in order to get that fitment. You just bolted them on and go. Um, it's got the Super 40 Flowmasters on there. Um, the trunk, before I had a 12 inch Sundown X, The trunk now has changed slightly. This is the trunk setup. All this was done by me. This whole car except the hood was done by me. These are two shallow 10 inch scars. This is just an SQ build. Those are all fiberglass. That is quarter inch plexiglass carved out on my CNC machine. Back there. Behind the plexiglass is the five gallon endo CVT tank. Now, the, for those who don't know about that, that is by AccuAir, um, who is no longer in business, but they, the compressor, everything is built into that tank. The tank, when it turns on, you can hardly hear it. Um, it is super quiet, super nice, well worth the money. Um, it just sucks that they're not in business anymore. Um, it's got the E-Level AccuAir, or that's the kit I have, the E-Level AccuAir, excuse me. Um, I got a Fosgate T400 by 4 for the mids and highs. Um, crossovers right there for the tweeters and the Fosgate T1500 for the base. Like I said, there's not a lot of base. They're just a couple shallow scars. It's just an SQ build. Um, I wanted looks, and that took me about two months to do. Um, I do build boxes. Go to Explicit Customs on Facebook or Instagram, and you'll see my work um, if you're local message me get a box built um, if I turn which you can't see really but everything in here lights up there's red lights you can kind of see them right now obviously at night you can see everything So on the inside, let me get on the inside here and show you a few, a few things. Here's the hood. The hood is a true fiber hood that is a working hood. It's not just for show. It's an actual working hood. And I got the eyelids put on. Now these aren't the eBay eyelids that you can get and stick them on. The eyelids are fiberglassed onto the hood. The whole hood is fiberglassed. So you can see from point A to point B, all of this is part of the hood now. And I'll show you that. You get in the car. I've got the halo lights. I've got fans for, there's two or four fans underneath of the air tank and then there are 
uh, two fans a piece under each amp. I've got the ring lights, which I made myself. I did not buy those. I made those myself, and then I got the bypass on the radio, so you can watch movies, that kind of stuff, etc. I'll show you what the lights look like with the hood. It's badass. I got them all now, not just the two on the sides. I decided to get the other two put in. So at night that looks really cool because it cuts the tops of them off. And uh, it just gives it a really mean look. It's definitely one of a kind, especially around where I live. Now the hood, like they said, let's try to open this here. There we go, sorry for that. True fiber. And like I said, as you can see, the eyelids are fiberglass on. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's all part of the hood. I haven't changed anything under here. It's still the stock 5.7 Hemi. But when you pull it down, you can see those are part of the hood. I've got $1,500 wrapped up in the hood alone just from the bodywork on it, the paint. There's obviously where the air comes in. Like I said, it's fully functional. Um, it's not just for looks. I've got just the same radio I had a couple years ago, the Pioneer, doubled in, so outdated, but it does the job, and that's uh, what I'll keep until something else. The wheel lights, I turn those on. Those rings, I rolled the rings, welded them, and then they are connected to factory bolts back there. So they're all red, they don't blink, they don't flash, they don't any of that. Everything is just red. They look amazing at night. I'll have to do a night video to show you. Now, um, you've got the, like I said, we've got the 22 2 Crave number 11s. Um, end of CVT. It's on, you can see the E-level AccuAir, and I'll show you guys that here in a minute. Um, the bags that are on it, I don't know if we can see them or not. They're the airlift bags, you can't, you can't really see them, it's kind of blurry, but, uh, Let me get someone to hold the camera real quick and I'll get I'll show you guys. And we have the UPS guy. Not for me. So again. Let's start the car here. Oh, you can hear the Super 40s go. For those interested in hearing that. And the car is a 2008. And let's see here. Two thousand eight. Was it? It's only got fifty-one thousand four hundred miles on it for being a two thousand and eight. 
Sounds awesome. Let me try to set this up because I don't have anybody to hold it. That ain't gonna work. Ah, uh, this sucks. Back up one more. Okay, hang on. Now you can see the car fully lowered when you shut it off and turn it back on it lifts to the original height there's three height settings and you can adjust it obviously besides those three height settings it's got height sensors so when the car is off balance it'll raise itself self leveling kit it is tucked as much as it can be tucked without taking the plastics out. And I'm not taking the plastics out. So. And then we'll go up. And the compressor kicked on. But as you can tell, you can't hear it at all. It's on. But. You think I'm lying because you can't hear it. And other than that, I've got Fosgate tweeters on the doors, two in each. Um, Fosgate mids where the factory speakers are, Fosgate speakers up in the three up there, and then the Fosgate where the six by nines are in the back. And that is it, guys. Um, if you have any questions, message me on Facebook. Um, my name is my name on YouTube. Uh, if you have any questions about anything. Alright guys, you guys take care.